the cryogenic dark matter search is exciting to me because uh, it's discovery of something new. We know a lot about the universe from what we see, but there's a very large amount that we don't know, that we, don't, that we can give a name to, but we really don't know what it is, and that's exciting to be able to understand. Dark matter is something that we uh, know exists in the universe because we see its effects on normal matter. So when we point telescopes out into the universe, we see normal matter moving in a way that it shouldn't unless there was a lot more matter that is not emitting or absorbing light. So we, we know it exists uh, in the universe. Now we would like to find out, is it around us and what does it consist of? There's much more matter than what we can see when we look through our telescopes. And it's non-luminous and presumably doesn't interact very often with normal matter. And so this is what we call dark matter and we don't know what it is. The CDMS, or the Cryogenic Dark Matter Search Experiment, uh, it's, it's an astroparticle physics experiment located deep underground in northern Minnesota in the Sudan Underground Laboratory, which is an old iron mine. So the idea of this experiment is to detect a new form of radiation, and the way we do this is with uh, hockey puck-sized uh, germanium and silicon crystals cooled to very cold temperatures, that's what makes it cryogenic, uh, and shielded as best we can from normal types of radiation that could mimic a dark matter signal. And so we place these things in this well-shielded underground installation and search for a signature of some new form of radiation interaction uh, that we cannot identify as normal, uh, a normal type of interaction. The best hypothesis for what dark matter is made of is uh, called a weakly interacting massive particle, or WIMP. Uh, so dark matter could be made of these particles, and dark matter is around us. We believe the, the Milky Way galaxy has an enormous halo of dark matter that we're moving through. If it's made of these WIMPs, uh, since they don't interact with normal matter very often, they're passing through us all the time. Even as we sit here, they're passing through us. Very occasionally, one of them will bump into the nucleus of an atom. If you have one of these detectors chilled out to, that, to the level where you can see that, then you could potentially detect that dark matter particle. We attempt to create uh, the deepest, darkest, quietest, coldest environment that we can and we put special radiation detectors in that environment and we wait. And we wait for some new type of radiation that we've not seen before to ping our detectors and cause them to vibrate. And hopefully that is the dark matter. We had a few events, candidate dark matter events, uh, that we were unable to positively say this is some kind of normal radiation or background uh, that we know about. However, only a couple events is not enough to provide a convincing detection of the dark matter. And we've also learned things to suggest how we should further improve our detectors uh, and towards a next generation uh, experiment and hopefully detect the dark matter eventually. There's an enormous amount of matter in the universe that we can't see and that we know nothing about. Uh, as scientists, our mission is to understand the universe and what's in it. And so we really want to understand, what is this matter made of? Uh, is it made of particles like these WIMPs? Is it made of something else? Uh, it's really a driving force for us, an exciting thing for us to try to understand what a large part of the universe is made out of.